It was supposed to be a vehicle to attract foreign investment. Instead, 1MDB has sparked embezzlement and money laundering investigations across at least 10 countries and a search for an enormous pile of missing money. Started in 2009 by the then government under Najib Razak, the fund's early initiatives included buying privately owned power plants and planning a new financial district in Kuala Lumpur. But 1MDB proved better at borrowing than attracting investment, ultimately finding itself $12 billion in debt. Investigators have been trying to find out how money flowed through and around the fund and illegally into personal accounts. The US Justice Department says more than $4.5 billion moved through a complex web of transactions and fraudulent shell companies. The Swiss say up to $7 billion passed through 1MDB and one of its units. The hunt has seen Najib charged with corruption, criminal breach of trust and money laundering involving 1MDB-related funds. He denies any wrongdoing. Goldman Sachs is also facing criminal charges, with prosecutors seeking fines of more than $3 billion. Malaysia alleges the bank misrepresented how the proceeds of bond sales for 1MDB, totalling $6.5 billion, would be used, knowing the funds would be misappropriated. Goldman denies that and says it will vigorously defend itself. Finally, fugitive Malaysian financier Jo Lo is in hiding, accused of leading a small group which diverted money into personal accounts, designed to look like legitimate businesses. Some of that cash is thought to have been used as kickbacks to officials, including Najib and his allies. Lo has been charged in absentia with money laundering as authorities look to dispose of his assets, including a luxury yacht.